Good morning and welcome to Paul T's World. We're going to the pond this morning and I'll tell you why. I was photographing some damselflies in the pond this morning. Two were emerging and just after I'd finished photographing them, I then looked around at the base of some of the rushes because you just don't know what's going to happen at this time of the year. So I was sitting here and looking at this blue damselfly there, he's just at the end of the water plantain leaf, his mate's around and they'll be laying eggs shortly. In fact, here's his mate flying around now. There's, and his mate has just landed on there. And I just finished photographing, sitting here. And I thought, just look carefully round the pond and look at what I saw. So easy to miss. It's a dragonfly. It's a dragonfly. The larva has crawled up this reed probably last night, maybe early hours of this morning. Clung onto the reed and then the dragonfly has emerged and he's just pumping his wings up now. It's going to take a long time, an hour or two. The larvae live in the pond for up to four years. So to actually see him and capture him coming out of the pond is quite a privilege. I didn't have any dragonflies emerge from the pond last year. I think there were three the previous year. It's probably a southern hawker, but I'm not sure. Until he's fully emerged, I don't think I'll be able to tell. Oh, and there's a, <laughs> that was one of the newts has just come up. It's a little bit windy at the moment. Unfortunately, it's been windy this last two months. Easterly winds. But our dragonfly's hanging on. He's secure, he won't be letting go. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Look at his big eyes. Quite a predator, the larvae in the, in the pond. attack tadpoles, water beetles, anything really. It's quite a big larva in the water. Probably a top predator in a small pond. Then just in the foreground here we've got a water soldier just starting to come to the surface. Damselfly larvae are using the leaves sticking out of the water to emerge. They seem to prefer it. There, that one, that particular water soldier probably has three or four small larvae have crawled up over the last couple of days and flown off. Let's see if we can just go round. this blue demoiselle I'm just getting my I'm just getting my shadow in because the sun's behind me probably better without the sun right now but the sun has shone solid for two months here in Britain oh let's have another look at the dragonfly let's see how close we can get oh I wish the wind would drop There's the other dragonfly. Oh, sorry, it's not a dragonfly, it's a damselfly. 
flying around. I'm sure he'll mate shortly and start laying eggs in the pond. The damselflies join together and she dips her tail into the water to lay the eggs. Just the sound of people talking in the background. They're in other gardens enjoying the sunshine during this, this lockdown of 2020. There's a newt just swimming around over there. And then back to the dragonfly larva. Oh, magnificent. It's difficult to get my shadow out of this. The sun's directly behind. Oh, there's a bee here on the bog bean, enjoying the last of the flowers of the bog bean. It's lovely to see the insects on the flowering aquatic plants because you really don't, you don't think of aquatic plants as attracting the insects, but they do, just like normal land-based plants. Oh, that's a blackbird in the black in the background, just clucking away. Doesn't like something. Oh yeah, he likes the bog bean, doesn't he? He's gone on to the next one. And the next one. Oh, he's on the London Pride now. London Pride's lasted nicely over the last few weeks. Still in flower, just about. And then let's move over. Sorry about my shadow, can't get it out. Ah, now then, we now have a red damselfly. And a blue one. Now, just offhand, I can't remember whether one's a male and one's a female or it's a different species, I'd better look that up. Oh, the blackbird's clucking. Yeah, damselflies just landed on that leaf there. Let's see if I can just stretch. Oh, in fact, we've got, oh, I'm getting the camera shadow in. We've got one damselfly on the lower leaf and then one just up here. There we are. I'm using a GoPro at the moment and I can't see the viewfinder, so I've no idea what's in shot and what isn't. So we'll just have to see when I get back to the office and the computer. Oh, he's lifted his wings out a little bit more. Oh, I'll just try and turn this round. Oh, fabulous. It's a little jungle when you have a pond. All sorts of life finds its way to your pond. And it's really exciting when I see the dragonflies, the southern hawkers come and they chase around the garden and then land on the pond, on leaves on the pond every now and again and then lay some eggs. And then I know that a few years later, I'm going to experience this. Oh, the animals aren't as big as in the Serengeti in Africa, but there's just as much going on. I'll try.
try and come a little bit closer. It might go out of focus, but let's just see what if we can push it. Can you see the lava casing that he has emerged from? This home for three or four years. It's a real miracle, the metamorphosis that goes on. A completely different creature emerges. Unbelievable. Ah, we've actually got four damselflies flying around at the moment. Yes, I, I've got a feeling that the male and the female are both blue. So that red one we saw was a different species. Let's see if I can just get a bit closer to these blue damselflies. I'm just gingerly walking precariously along the side of my pond. I actually fell in the other month. Quite spectacular. Didn't get it on film though. So what have we got? There's one there. And there's one on the leaf there of the water plante. Oh, he's come off. He's over there now. Oh, wow, I can see the dragonfly from here now. He's pumping his wings up. The dragonflies always come up the rushes or the stems to the flag iris. And the very small tra semi-transparent damselflies virtually always come up the water soldier leaves. As soon as the water soldier leaves just poke up through the water and they're only a few inches above the water, the small damselflies, the larvae, start climbing up the leaves. That's why it's important in a pond to have leaves that grow up out of the water. Nice and dense really. I'm rather surprised that this dragonfly has chosen an outer leaf. They're usually, oh, there's a damselfly just passing by me here. Oh, there's two of them there having a little dance. Oh, and another little damselfly has just flown off. He's emerged today. A little nymph. Little larvae of a, I would imagine, well, yeah, he's a damselfly then. Can you see him? He's just out of focus. Let me just focus properly on this. There we are. I just noticed him swim. There he is, he's just crawling up. Oh, I wonder if he's ready to emerge. Oh, he's putting his head out of the water. No, he's not on the right plant if he wants to emerge today. Oh, I've never seen one come up to the surface like that at the lily pads. And here's another damselfly. He's climbed up one of the rushes. Just in the shade there. So he'll have his maiden flight in the next 10 minutes probably he's fully formed let's just pull out and see what he's actually climbed up yeah it's one of the flowering rushes Looking at this dragonfly close up, he's got quite a short but very fat body. So I don't think he's a southern hawker. I think he's a darter. They tend to have shorter, fatter bodies. They land on their favourite reed or perch and dart off from that perch. Take an insect and come back to the same perch. The hawkers tend to hawk round, fly round, 
at quite a rate of knots catching things on the wing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the wide body, see how it tapers towards the, the tail, the tail end. Yeah, that's a data. Now, what kind of data is that? Hopefully I'll see him when uh, he's fully formed. It's a little bit transparent at the moment. Pumping blood round his body. Could be any time in the next few hours that he's fully formed. He's hanging on okay. Magnificent. Gosh, I'm so glad I noticed him. I normally look around the pond ever so carefully and I was about to leave, go and have a coffee, and I just noticed him. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode in the life of my pond. I really didn't expect today to have a dragonfly emerging. If a dragonfly is going to emerge, I expected it in another few weeks, and we don't get them that often. I didn't have any last year, and maybe three the year before. Lots of damselflies every year, hundreds of them. But dragonflies are a little bit special because they live in the pond for three or four years, and so there's not quite so many. People have liked that I've referred to the birds uh, while I've done my videos. Well, I've got a blackbird right now above me in the maple, and his rival is over there on the aerial of my house, and they are now singing to each other. <laughs> Oh, they've sung the same song to each other. Oh, I hope this is coming out on the audio. These two blackbirds, these two male blackbirds are rivals in my garden. I'm just looking up at the one on the aerial. He's got no tail and he's had a lot of fights in his time. And when he first was in the garden, this one above here, he's the one that's perfectly formed. He's a handsome boy and he knows it. And he was top dog and he chased this other one all over the place. And I felt sorry for the one with no tail. But then all of a sudden, the roles were reversed. And now during the last month, Blackbird with no tail is top dog. He sings loudest. He's the one with a wolf whistle at the end. If you've noticed on some of the, some of the vi other videos, when you hear a big wolf whistle at the end, that's Mr. No-Tail. Great, what a nice ending to the video. Uh, I'll sign off now and I hope to catch you next time. Bye.